In this section, I will demonstrate you enhancements in procurement and public templates in purchase orders and requisition along with their configuration and end user activities. So first lecture will be on enhancements in procurement. Here is the business scenario. The procurement team wants to activate the following functions into purchasing documents, public templates in purchase orders and requisitions, and extended document flow button to view the document flow of a purchasing document. So we can fulfill the business requirements by making enhancements in production. And in order to do that, we use the transaction code SFW5, that is to change business function status. And SAP has already provided us business functions, which we can activate. So the following business function needs to be activated in order to fulfill the business scenario. And before we do that, here are SAP recommendations. To activate a new business function, you can follow these steps below. Create a backup of your system. In most cases, it is not possible to revert the changes made by the activation of the switch framework settings. Change system status to be modifiable. Log on to the development system with your SAP underscore all authorization. Disable all batch jobs. Close the system for all other users. So these are SAP recommendations. So normally the activation of business function is done by SAP basis team, but I will demonstrate you how we can do that as sourcing and procurement consultant. I'm on SAP system now and in the transaction code ME21N to create purchase order. And currently you can see that we do not have the option to create public templates in the purchase order. So normally there are two buttons here, save from template, save template and load from template. So we are unable to view those buttons because the business function is not yet activated. And also there is a small button for extended document flow, which we can use to view the document flow of a purchase order. So we have to activate the business function in order to use the functionalities for load from template and document flow. So if you go to SAP Easy Access Screen and run the transaction code SFW5 and then press enter. And you will be landed on the screen that says switch framework change business function status. And when you have this security information dialog box, click continue. And you will be landed on the screen. Now here you have to press control F in your keyboard, key, keyboard and then enter the search term as log underscore mm underscore ci underscore three and then press enter. And if you scroll down, so you can see the business function set for materials management enhancements in procurement so this function, you have to activate it. Select the business function and then click the checkbox that says planned status. So if you click on it and after that, activate changes. And you will have this dialog box, business functions to be switched on, click activate changes. And you will receive this information dialog box that the following job was started in the background. Press enter to continue. And now if you go back to the purchase order screen and right now you can see that you do not have the option template and also do not have the option for document flow here. So let's rerun the transaction code for ME21N after activating the business function. And now you can see that you have save as template, load for template buttons have been appeared. Also, the docu extended document flow button has been appeared on the purchase order. And that's how you activate the business function by using the transaction code SFW5. In this lecture, I will demonstrate you how we can create public templates in purchase orders and requisitions as an end user. So I'm on SAP system now and in the transaction code ME21 to create a purchase order. And we have got now two buttons, save as template and load from template. So let's enter the, inf the information for the purchase order. So choose the vendor as 2101 and the material as 661 and the PO quantity is 100 and then press enter. And now you can enter further information as much as you want. And after that, you can save it as a template so next time, if you will create a purchase order with the similar information, you do not have to enter the information manually. So let's create it as a template. And you will have this dialog box. Now here, first 
you have to choose the name of the template. So let's select the name of the template as material 661 and vendor number is 2101. And further you can enter the description according to the business requirement, something like that. And if you want to create this template public so that other users can also use this template, then you can mark the checkbox. And if you want to create it as a private template and you do not want that other users can access that, then you can unmark the checkbox. So let's create it as a pub public template by marking this checkbox and then click OK. And you will have this information template was created, press enter to continue. And now it has been created. Now, next time when you run this transaction code ME21N, so you do not have to enter all the information again, you will just click the button load from template. And you can see the name of the template. So you can click on the template name along with the header data information. So you can load the header data information as well. So you can mark the checkbox and then click this button for the click this name for the template and press OK. Template data copied, press enter to continue. And now you can see that all the information from the template has been copied. So we can, that's how we can take maximum benefit from the template. So we can enter as much information as possible in a purchase order and then we save it in, as a template. And next time you do not have to work hard to enter all the data again manually because you will have an option to load the data, purchase order data from the template. And I will proceed to the next activity.